Thank you, Mr. May Parkins. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Agriculture. Farmers across Ontario have become very frustrated with the government's seemingly unwillingness to develop regulations regarding neonic treated seed that actually work on the ground. The first sign was when they held the EBR consultations in the middle of planting season when farmers had no time to talk about the regulations and things haven't gone any better. And one screaming example, Speaker, is you need a certified crop advisor to um, approve your needs assessment for an ENIC seed. We agree with that. Farmers agree with that. But the crop advisor can't be affiliated with any company that sells seed. So the majority of crop advisors are now out of the game. People that farmers have trusted for years. Does the minister actually believe that these people aren't competent or independent? Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Well, thanks uh, very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Through you to my friend uh, from Tobisco Bay Market, I want to uh, thank him for his uh, uh, question this morning. As we do know, there is a, a legal case that is pending on the regulations, and I can't comment on that. But basically, basically, but basically, Mr. Speaker, we've uh, we've identified four Order. factors uh, to pollinate or help the province of Ontario. Uh, number one, there was two severe winters that have caused an impact on pollinator health. Two, the fact is that there's a number of hives in Ontario that have been invaded uh, by the varroa mite. Three, there's the management issue of the hives between professional managers and hobbyists. And four, the blanket use of neonics across the province of Ontario. The bottom line, Mr. Speaker, is if you need to use neonics in the province of Ontario, if you have demonstrated need, Answer. you can get access to them, Mr. Speaker, to our farmers in Ontario. Good day. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, once again, the minister asked a specific question and didn't get an answer, so I'm going to rephrase it. In, I'm a farmer. I've used the same certified crop consultant for 20 years, Terry Phillips from the Tamiskaming Ag Co-op. I've trusted him. He's told me at times, you know, John, you shouldn't spray because it's too late or it's not effective, or maybe you should rotate more. He's given me good advice. But Terry Phillips, according to the government, is not qualified to give me advice on neonics. That's ridiculous. And I'm glad I'm a farmer to be able to say that, and the minister should take heed that a crop advisor is a crop advisor. They're certified, and if they're not certified, tell me why you don't believe in their certification. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Speaker, member from Dufferin Caledon, come to order. Question. I want, to thank the, go ahead. I want to thank the member for a supplementary question because I just found out something this morning. Uh -oh. The member from the Mr. Bay Cranford. The members from to Mr. McCracken had this to say on May 7th to the Chatham Daily News. As a party, we believe there is room for more regulation. I've used Neodex on my farm. They're very effective. But perhaps, Mr. Speaker, they were overused. Do we believe there should be stronger regulation, Mr. Speaker? He said yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>